Welcome travelers. I am in Charleston, Maine, a small town outside of Bangor, Maine, and I'm visiting my dad on his beautiful property. It's gorgeous. And we'll give you a little walk around tour of his property. And we're also going to make lobster rolls. <laughs> Are you on the driveway? Oh, you're on there. Are we watching? There used to be holes, and I had some I didn't break my neck out here. Yeah. Where you at? We're in Maine. It's freaking cold. It's beautiful. I love it. <sighs> I love it. It's like 50 something degrees, and I don't have to wear a sweater, and I still have flip flops on because that's how I roll. That's how I roll. I wonder if I got any blood. Look how beautiful. Maine in the fall. Yeah. All right. Somewhere around here is an apple tree. We're looking for an apple tree. Right near here somewhere. On the road. Yeah, Dad, Dad tried to point it out, but I didn't see it. They have apple trees. Are we close to the road? Not, not yet. Okay. Is it closer to the road? Yeah, I think so. He even said they had apples on it, but I didn't see any. Well, they might all have been blown down by all the wind we've had. Oh, wait, it's right in front of us. Do y'all okay. see the apple tree? It's it's looking kind of sad. Because it's getting cold. <laughs> yeah. There's like two little tiny apples on it. They're well, it was loaded with big They're ones. red apples. Oh, yeah, no, they're tiny now. There's yeah, not... well, because they're just the last of the... And then, oh wait, I see more way up. Oh, you can see them, they're way up high. Yeah, the big ones? Yeah. Well, you hear them go, thump, thump, thump. So little tiny, it's one of their apple trees. That's, I didn't know apple trees grew so tall, but they're I They're not supposed to be. They, Usually you're supposed to prune them, but I guess these people just didn't bother. All right, well, tips for y'all. You got apple trees, prune your apple trees. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, but you know how much it would cost me to hire somebody to do it? And then this goes down to the second lot. I don't know if I know how to get into there. No, let's go out to Let's not the, do it. Let's do it we're this not gonna, way. We'll go see your pretty garden and go pick some apples with the cute doggy. Come on, baby. Come on. It's a uh, uppy uppy. He's going to get caught up with me. <laughs> Barley, come over here and keep up with me. Garden. He's the most stubborn dog anyway. I don't know if I'd take him for training. <laughs> That's some blackberry bushes. And this we filled all in. They had a they had a great big mountain of a what they call fill. And the state will give it to you for free. Because in the wintertime they put sand on the road, you know, so that you uh -huh. get icy and stuff. Yeah. And then in the spring they have to get her off the road, and it's a lot. And so they'll put it on there. You if can you get want it, for free. it, you can call the city and say, "Next time you have a truckload, I'll take it." And we already had it. The previous owner was going to do it, but he hurt his back. He's a big man, and he has back trouble. Uh, and um, but close to the tree line near the road, uh huh. Um, and at about four feet out was a ledge of rocks. And my sister said, you can't come down here, you'll get killed. Yeah. And it was deep. And so we put the fill down, we hired somebody to do it. We didn't, want you we didn't have the equipment. Yeah. And they had it done in a day. Nice. And now it's all nice and even and flat. What kind of tree is that in the middle? White. Is it white? And it's, I don't know, it's like a big tree. It has the, and it looks like vines coming out of it. When it the big tree right in the middle. Oh, a willow? 
Is that is that what a, that's a that, weeping willow? That's a weeping willow. Yeah. Do you have a I have weeping no willow? Hey, we are. <laughs> We're in the behind your house. Well, I know that I can see the. I can kind of see the porch. Porch. Yeah, I, I have to be careful because over there is the raised beds, and I get hurt. I'm disassembling. I'm unassembling. Yeah, it looks like you planted a lot of stuff at one time all back here, did yeah, you? Yeah, I did, and I couldn't keep up. You did all of that? Yeah, all of that. I had six. One, two, three. The strawberries I kept. And I'm going to yeah. plant some more strawberries. Okay. And over here are the first one that's way over by the birch tree. Yeah. Um, that's okay. where when I get too many irises and too many of my perennials, I stick it in there. And then if my brother or, or my sister or my niece or... I have two nieces. Uh-huh. They all like to garden. Gotcha. So I say, well, in the, in the spring, you can come and get what you want. Oh, yeah, but that's a pretty birch tree, too. Yeah, I love it. Birch is my favorite tree. Is all the blueberries? Yeah, about 99 of them. And there are three different stages, early, and then a couple weeks later, the other ones, and then there's late blooming. So we still have some on the vines, probably. Oh, I don't see any of it. Um, nice. And then my sister and I are failure over here in the garden. Uh, we haven't been too lucky. And we're going back here and picking apples. Do you, oh, you got different kinds of apples. You yeah, got I got Macintosh. I got yellow delicious. I got red delicious. And these aren't the only ones. Yeah. I guess like your, your season's all pretty much over. Yeah, we had an early one. Yeah. Usually it's the end of October, but this year it was the end of September. Wow. So you know what? I told Pierre, if this turns out to be like Alaska eventually, <laughs> well, I don't know if I can stay here. I'll have super depression. <laughs> trees on this property. You got 12 apple trees. Yes, and they're way back in there, and I wouldn't go back in there because I don't want to get a tick on me. I'm going to pick some apples. Yeah, please pick them. They're apple. good. This will be fun. They're kind of puny. Yeah, they. Dad said these were the golden delicious. And they, they, they are kind of yellowish green. They have a little bit of red tint on them. Yeah, and they get pretty, but we gotta chop the trees down. Look at the big ones way up there. Yeah. That's why I said like you don't get uh, animals and stuff out here trying to get these no. apples. No, the deer eat them at night on the ground. Okay. And you'll see marks on the tree trunks where the deer will. Um, a deer can be as tall as seven feet on its hind leg. Wow. So they can get up pretty pretty high. Wow. And I just, you see them all on the ground. That doesn't mean they're not good because they're down there. That just means they Well, ready. definitely something stepped on and mushed one of it. That was a deer. Yep. Oh yeah, there's a couple mushed ones down well, here. Well, you should see tracks probably all through the garden. Oh yeah, you kind of can. Yeah, they're out here at night. Just another one for him. <laughs> and then I'm not, there's a little I place if I can... <laughs> but uh, it can. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Gonna it can. Break up some lobster. This See, is this is why I like to do it outside. Yeah, it's, it's messy. messy. Yeah, it's very messy. Um, 
I don't think so. this is how Gordon Ramsay does it. I'm just teasing. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Uh, let me see what I can do here. Um, I think I can come. Lobster. You just beat it. Pull it out. It seems like a lot of hard work. Uh, yeah, it, yes. It's a little work. So it's probably like, that's why it costs more. When you go out, they have to do all this work. Uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah, I don't even know. I don't, can't remember the last time I even seen a lobster tank at the grocery store when I've been to one. <laughs> they don't have them anymore very often. Yeah, it's not, uh, not something you see a lot of. No. But you do have them in Maine. Yeah, oh, yeah. Lobsters. It smells fishy, y'all. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get away from you. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a big call. That's all you need is a rubber mallet, no fancy tools, huh? Well, and a screwdriver to get stuff like this. <laughs> screwdriver. Yeah. A little one. <laughs> um. Okay. Now you gotta do the tail. Yeah. You don't wanna hit it too hard. That'll smush the meat. Look at all them lobsters and that's, that's all the meat we got out of the pot. So what are we doing? Shredding it. We're shredding lobster for lobster rolls. Yeah, and this is the body of the lobster. Smells like lobster. Shredded lobster. She's and these are the claws. Can you see them? Yeah. We don't want it in big chunks. No. You don't like it biggie chunky? No. I like biggie chunky. We'll make it biggie chunky. Yeah. Some of it's kind of. Let's make some of it chunky. Yeah. I dropped the thingy. I'm gonna try to make mine a little more chunky. Okay. We'll have some big chunks mixed in with the shredded yeah. one. See, I have, um, I've had lobster roll in Hudson with mom in this one restaurant. I really like it. And then we went and then I thought I liked lobster rolls. And then we went somewhere else and I tried it and it wasn't good. Well, it just depends <laughs> on how they do it. Yeah, they didn't do a good job. Then we went to a um, Look at that. food truck place in Charleston. And there was a lobster that place there. And they had the main lobster roll and it was yeah. good. Yeah. But I was like, I'm in Maine. I want a main, a real. Well, yeah, you really want to say you have a real main lobster. Because they might say main yeah. and it really isn't. <laughs> So now I'm doing it like a local. Yeah, you're eating it like a local. And it, they don't charge anything to cook it there, which is wonderful. If I go down to Bangor, they're two dollars a pound higher, and they charge you for each lobster that they cook. Yes, you can go to the grocery store and order your yes, lobster. See, some of this has poopy. Yeah, this one has right. a poopy thing in it. Take the poopy out. Yes, the green. Yeah, you don't want to eat that. No. Mm hmm You can, but I don't like it. 
Well, I know in shrimp you're not supposed to eat it. No, this is not poopies, but it it's, I don't want to eat it. Oh, it looks like the thingy in shrimp. <laughs> I never see the thingy in shrimp. Well, you're supposed to take it out. It's like a little poopy trail or whatever. Oh, I don't ever. You're not supposed to eat it. So you're not, you don't want to see it when you go out to eat. No. Look at like your doggy whining over here. Oh, he wants something all the time. He wants lobster. He's like, can't I, have this. He's like, I smell the lobster. Put a teaspoon in there. Right. Or, or a heaping spoonful. All right, we got lobster in the bowl. I'm not, I'm not a really good um, cook YouTuber and mayonnaise. <laughs> what is it, the people that do recipes and cook on YouTube? I tried that once. It didn't go over too well. So I do a little stuff. All right, and now you want me to do how much? Just put, put a couple in there and we'll, we'll, we'll blend it in and see how it does. I need more than that for sure. Now, are you using a wooden spoon? Yeah. Good. We don't use metal. Oh, that'll taint the meat? Yeah. Don't use metal. FYI. I don't. All right. I just do like my mom did. Salt and pepper. Can you get Salt it over there on that thing for me? Because I don't know which one's which. On the, on the Lazy oh, Susan? Susan? Oh, okay. Yeah. Little grinders? Yeah, the shakers. The shakers. Yeah. Salt and pepper. How much salt do you put? I don't like a lot. I don't either. Hand it to me. I put it in my hands. Is that a lot? No, it's not much. A little bit more. A little bit more? Yeah. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> no, no, it's not. For, for us ladies with high blood pressure. <laughs> I'm so sick of not having salt. Should have no salt. And a little pepper? Yep. All right, hold on. It's, there's nothing to it. A lot of people put too much mayonnaise, and I don't like it. All right, sprinkled in some pepper. Thanks. Too much. Yeah, we don't want it really mayonnaise. Well, a lot of people make it wet to make it. I think they think it's going to make it go more. I don't. Go for it. I, I want to taste the, the lobster. Okay, so we're done. That's it. That's it. Just butter. start to. We got one of the top buns, and we're going to butter each side. Uh, let's see. What kind of buns did it get? Did the it... top loaded ones. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And, and you so you do the flat sides. Yeah, you butter each, each side. On the outside. Each side, and I'm going to put it on the grill. Right. Toast it. We're going to toast it. That's what makes it good. The butter kind of immerses in with your sandwich. Do them all at one time. Oops, well, I already stuck. I was doing one at a time. Well, let me take one off. Let me do yeah. that. How many am I making here? <laughs> well, try three for now and see okay. how much we got. And I'll probably um, eat one big one. I'll stuff it. And But there's probably enough for two of us a piece. I think so. Five pounds, it ought to be. Well, we'll do one for now, eat them while they're hot. Yeah, and then do, because it doesn't take very long. Oh. All right, now I'm going to stick them all on the griddle. Yeah. Stick them Just keep griddle. an eye on them. They'll get crispy fast. Yeah. I like right. to hear it sizzle. It's sizzling now. Yeah. I got my toasted roll. I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna stop it. Here's a napkin. There you go. Here's a napkin. I'll put it down for her. Okay. We already said the blessing because we're hungry. Uh -huh. That's okay. <laughs> all right, this will be mine. That's your toasted roll. Now take a picture of all of it. Yeah. I'll get a picture. Come on, get some tonky meat in there. There you go. You really have to push it down so that you can get it in there. You can see my lobster roll now. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, baked beans are great cold. Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't give me gas. Man. Our last lobster. That was a good lobster roll. My first Maine lobster roll, real Maine. Real local Maine lobster roll, yeah. Mm -hmm. I still like Not the $50 roll they the charge to the tourist. Make it yourself. Make it yourself. You got it. <laughs> that wraps up my trip to my dad's. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of what we did around here. And remember, if you can imagine it, we can create it.